Hallelujah. Praise God. Kumusta po kayong lahat? Happy Sunday. Hallelujah. Good morning everyone and welcome to our service online. Hallelujah service today. And we are happy that you are with us this morning. And I hope and I pray that you are in a good condition, happy and blessed. Praise God. So if you can give a few moments of your time sa ating pong pag-aaral ng ating salita ng Diyos. And we are going to talk about uh, the goodness of God this morning. And we're going to talk this in the following Sunday also. Um, pag-aaral lang po natin ang kabutihan ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Praise God. And if you can bear with us, uh, stay with us sa ating gawain. And again, I'm Pastor Rudy, Pastor of the Commission for Christ Fellowship here at 6678 Mission Street, Delhi City, California. And we are Pool Gospel Church. Tayo po ay purong salita ng Diyos ang ating pong ibinabahagi sa ating gawain. Amen? So again, our topic of our message is God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. Praise God. And let's bow down for a moment and let's pray. Father God, once again, Lord, salamat, O Diyos, sa magandang to Lord na meron kaming pagkakataon na muli, O Diyos, mahiyag ang iyong magandang balita, O God, sa lahat ng iyong mga anak na nakikinig ng aming gawain yung maga, our online service, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you will bless us. Bless your people this morning, Lord, as we study your word, as we preach the gospel, O God. I pray, O God, that this message, Lord, will penetrate in our heart, Lord, that we will live with it, O God. Maunawaan po namin ang iyong mensahe sa umagang to And Lord, we're going to declare victory this morning, Lord, and we just claim, O God, ang iyong kabutihan ay maranasan po namin ngayong umaga. Sa iyong kapurihan, kalwalahatian, sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. And amen. Praise God. So, did you know that God loved us so much? Hallelujah. Do you know that God is so good in our, in our heart? Amen. How many of you believe that God is good? Amen. So, He is He, the reason why He is good because He loves us. I believe that because He loves us so much and it become and it will become a revelation to our heart, you can feel the goodness of God in our lives. Amen? Yung pong pag-ibig ng Diyos ay magkaroon ng tunay na revelation sa ating puso at mararanasan po natin ang kabutihan ng Diyos sa ating buhay. And if you are not uh, convinced yet that God loves you so much, in fact, one of my favorite gospel singers is what, uh, Don Moen. Uh, you, know, you know who Don Moen is. Who composed the most popular song. Amen? That song, that song is, God is good. All the time, and all the time, God is good. At naging popular po itong awiting ito, composed by Don Moen, and it's become very common nowadays that praise that God, praise the Lord, because God is good in our life, naging, ito ay naging uh, expression natin, hallelujah, that every time we, uh, we say God is good, we respond all the time, and when we say all the time, we respond God is good. But sometimes, it become an expression of our mouth, That saying God is good, but it become meaningless at all. Amen? Ang kaya nga, as atin po, kailangan po maranasan po natin that the word of God, that is God is good, will penetrate in our heart. Magkaroon po ito ng tunay na revelasyon sa ating buhay. Then I suggest that make this phrase become a reality in our heart that God is really good. In our life, amen, sapagkat God is good. Napakabuti po ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Hindi lang sinasabi kundi na, nadarama ng at, sa ating buhay ang salitang ito. You, uh, you, you feel that in your heart, na you, you, are, uh, you are enjoying it, amen, that He wants to do good things on you, amen. So then you will never going to enjoy God best in your life. And once again, it become a revelation to you that God is really good and He loves us so much. Praise God. You li- your lives will never be the same again. Amen. And that's why in the year, this year, the two, this year 2021, we are still at the beginning of the year. Make this year 2021 will become a greatest year because the glory of God is within us. Amen. Yes. There is a cal- there's a calamity going on, but God is in control of everything. To those people 
who trust on Him. Amen? He's telling us today that there is a new wave of His glory is what we've seen in the midst of this crisis. Yes, and today, we are going to study about the glory of God. Amen? Uh, well, po tayong tatlong bagay na ating pag-uusapan ngayon. Praise God. Meron po tayong tatlong bagay na ating pag-uusapan ngayon. And yung po tatlong bagay na yon ay una, the manifestation of the presence of God. Hallelujah. The manifestation of the um, um, glory, of, uh, glory of God. Ikalawa, the manifestation of the power of God. At yung pangatlo, manifestation of the goodness of God. Amen? Yan po yung ating tatlong bagay na ating pong pag-uusapan ngayon. And the Lord is telling us today. Amen? The new beginning of this year. Hallelujah! Yung bagong revelation ng Diyos ngayong bagong taon na to na mayroon po tayong gustong gawin ang Diyos sa ating kalagitnaan. That He want you to experience His power. Hallelujah! Uh, he want to experience us His goodness in the greatest way that you ever had it before. Amen? Maaaring itanong natin sa ating sarili, Pastor, pwede ba tayo makaranas ng magandang buhay sa kabila ng mga nangyayari sa ating kapaligiran? You know? And as far as I know, alam niyo po, as far as I know, that the God that I serve, yung pong ating Diyos na ating pinaglilingkuran, is a God of everything. Amen? Who owns everything. Siya po yung Diyos na may pag-aari ng lahat ng bagay. The creator of everything. Hallelujah. The God that is nothing is impossible to those who trust and believe on Him. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you remember the first message that we have last year, I don't know, I don't know if you remember uh, the beginning of the year 2020 when we start the new year way back then uh, we study about you know we learn how to tap on the reservoir of the riches of God in heaven amen na pag-usapan po natin kung paano mag-connect doon sa reservoir ng kayamanan ng Diyos sa kalangitan for us to experience the blessing of God amen it's take The, you know, it's like an electricity, you know, it's like, you know, that in order for you to have the source of power, para po tayo magkaroon ng source ng power, you need to tap to the main power of the electricity. Hindi ho ba? Uh, ako po ay isang electrician, uh, that's why I, I know that I can say that, you know, in order for us to have power, You need to tap on the main electricity para po magkaroon tayo ng kuryente o ilaw sa loob ng ating tahanan. So you need to tap on that uh, main power. Meaning to say, whatever circumstances will happen, any calamity in every situation, if you con connected to the source of blessing, hallelujah, you can enjoy life. Amen? Tayo po ay mag-enjoy ng buhay. Kailangan po tayo po ay nakabit o nakakonekta doon sa source ng kayamanan ng kalangitan. And that's what we talk about uh, the beginning of the year 2020. We, we talk about it. And I can say that God is good to my life because I experience His presence. I experience His power. And I experience His goodness. Daranasan ko po yung tatlong bagay nito sa kabila ng mga pagsubok sa kabila ng there is pandemic in the midst of us. Amen. I proven myself that God is in control of everything no matter what happen in this world. Hallelujah. Ano man ang mangyari, ano bang kalabidad, meron tayo na nangyayari sa ating kapaligiran as long that tayo po ay nakakabit doon sa source ng kayamanan ng Diyos sa kalangitan. Amen. Makakakuha tayo ng tunay na pagpapala ano mang sitwasyon meron tayo ngayon. Amen. Sa kabila ng pandemic, I proven myself that if you learn how to tap on the reservoir of the riches in heaven, you can see how God is good in your life. Makikita natin yung kabutihan ng Diyos sa ating buhay. You know, that's why I challenge each of every one of us, I challenge each of every one of you uh, to begin to set up your, your feet, 
yung pong ating pananampalataya. Begin to set your faith right now on believing that the year 2021, this year that we have right now, the beginning of the year, that you're going to experience the goodness of God, that you, got, you will experience the presence of God and the power of God in our life in a greater way that you ever had it before. Hallelujah. Well, we, we talk about three, 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 three of those things, but what we're going to talk about today is the goodness of God. Yung kabutihan ng Diyos. Yan po yung ating pag-uusapan ngayong umaga. I say that if you want to experience the great things in your life, kung gusto po nating maranasan yung mga bagay na magaganda sa ating buhay, then you got to know these two things. Ano yung dalawang bagay na ito? Number one is the goodness, uh, God, is, God is love. Amen? Mahal po tayo ng Diyos. Number one na dapat po natin malaman, dapat po magrema po sa ating buhay that will deep, go down, deep down in our heart that God is love. Amen? And number two is God is good. Amen? God is good. You might say, uh, oh, well, that's easy to say. Everybody knows about it. You know? Uh, but I could say, no. Hindi po. In fact, there's a lot of Christians that still not convinced yet that God loved them so much that He would pour out His goodness upon our lives. Maraming tao na hindi pa rin naniniwala na ang Diyos, sila ay mahal ng Diyos. Hindi pa rin nila makapaniwala na ang Diyos ay tunay, ang Diyos ng pag-ibig, Diyos ng pagmamahal. And that's why, through that, hindi nila ma-experience yung kabutihan ng Diyos sa kalang buhay. They believe that He will do it for some people that they minister, to those minister, to God, you know, and mga siguro, mga leaders. But you, you need to understand that God is not a respecter of person. Amen? God is not a respecter of person. If we will do it for me, then He will do it for you. And He will do it to every child of God. You can imagine, you know, alam niyo po, mamamangha, na ako po ay namamangha sa Diyos, yung kabutihan po ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Yeah, bagamat kumisala niyo po, again, hindi po kaila po sa bawat isa sa atin na mayroon pong pandemic. A lot of people is been laid off from their job. You know what? But I think sis, because of the love of God towards us, you know, makikita mo na sa kabila ng pandemic, mayroon mga taong pinagpapala. Yung business kung kailan sila nawala ng trabaho, sa kayong kalang business ay pinagpala. Hallelujah! Praise God! Kaya ang kumisan, may mga tao talaga na, you know, We're sometimes we're too busy to work. Hindi tayo magkaroon ng panahon at paglilingkod sa Diyos. Pero ang sabi ng Panginoon, if you give time, sabi ng Panginoon, if you seek me first, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Alam po, makikita natin yung pagkilos ng Diyos. Na sa kabila ng mga tao ay naghihirap, mayroong mga pandemic, maraming tao na leo, pero doon ka, pinag, doon ka pinagpapala ng Diyos. Amen. Yung business natin sa gitna ng pandemic, pagpapalain ng Diyos mapagpapa yung mga, mga business na ito. And that I can say, God is good. God is good. Amen. The Bible says, look at, look at the love that God has bestowed upon us. That we are the son or children of God. Amen. You and I both, both have the right to expect God goodness in our lives. Amen. No one is above another one because God has no respecter of person. God has no respecter of person. If you need to have a revelation of the fact that God loves you so much that He wants to pour out His goodness upon your life. Amen. I, I guarantee you that your life will never be the same again. Amen. Yung pong ating buhay ay hindi na maging katulad ng dati. You, you might ask, well, is, is that the Bible? Is that what the Bible says? Yes, it is. Na, 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 nasusulat po natin is what King David declares. In, look at this. If you open your Bible with me in the book of Psalms, the book of Psalms 145. Hallelujah. Book of Psalms 145, beginning verse 1, we'll read this and say like this. I will extol you, O King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Hallelujah. Verse 2. Every day I will praise your name 
forever and ever. Amen. He said, every day I will praise your name forever and ever. That is what King David declares. Hallelujah. Araw-araw pupurihin ko ang Diyos sapagkat sa kanyang kabutihan naranasan ni King Haring David yung, yung pagpapala, yung tunay na biyaya ng Diyos sa kanyang buhay. Amen. And that's why in verse 3 said like this, Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And His greatness is unsearchable. Amen. His greatness is unsearchable. Hallelujah. And verse 4 said, One, one generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty works, mighty acts. Hallelujah. Notice what it says here. Pansinan po natin ang sinasabi dito sa talata na ating ating binasa. That each generation should be, should be passing on the next generation. Amen. Yung pong, yung pong pagpapala ng Diyos kailang ibahagi natin sa mga susunod na henerasyon. You know? Should be passing on to the next generation of what they seen God's do. Amen? And that's what we do. That's what we, I do. I, I, need, I need to, uh, I need to uh, pass it on sa aking mga anak, yung mga generation ito, na I will say that God is good in, the, in our life and I will need to pass this on because that's what the Bible says. Amen? Kailang ibahagi po natin sa mga susunod na generasyon. Maranasan nila ang Diyos ay mabuti sa kalang buhay. Amen? Because God is good. God is, God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. His act, His work, and His goodness. Amen? He says, I will talk about what you've done to me and I will pass that on to the next generation. Amen? Ipasa po natin sa susunod na mga generasyon yung mga pagpapala na ating naranasan. And that's what I did. Amen? They need to know that God is good in their life. Because you experience it. Amen? Naranasan po natin. And that is, the, that is supposed to be what we're doing. Amen? Pass this on our seeds and their seeds. Amen? Sa ating mga anak at sa mga apo natin, sa mga darating pang mga henerasyon. Talk about the goodness of God. Amen? Our children have seen goodness of God in our lives. Amen? And now, they're teaching their children about the goodness of God. Amen? Itinuturo nila ito sa kalamang anak. Amen? Keep passing it on from one generation to another. Amen? And that's why Book of Psalms chapter 7, 78, 78 says, The reason God want us to do that is so that the next generation will have hope in God as well. Amen? Maranasan nila nila yung katulad na pagpapala na naranasan natin. Amen? I'm telling you. Amen? God has been good to Moya's family. Amen? Sa- a same family that we have here at CFCF Church. Amen? Naranasan natin yung mga pagpapala ng Diyos. Kaya nga sabi ko nga, sa kabila ng mga pagsubok, sa kabila ng pandemic, God provided things. At ako po ay namamangha sa aking buhay. That how God is good. Amen. And I also owe some families. Amen. That in the midst of those pandemics, in the midst of those trials in our life, yung mga pag, kung kailan tayo naka, naka, the things sa mga, ang iba ay nagipit, nawalan trabaho, so balit nandun yung kabay ng Diyos. Kumikilos po sa ating kalagitnaan. Amen. Prove that God is really good in our life. And we want to know that the whole world to know that He is no respecter of person of what they done to us. Amen. He will do it for everyone that believe it. Amen. Maranasan po ninyo yung tunay na papapala because God is good. Ito po ang pangako ng Diyos na magrema tumimo sa ating puso. That is not only the word that God is good. That you just say easy to say God is good. Pero wala po sa ating puso, walang meaning. Kailangan ito po ito mo sa ating puso, magkaroon po ng tunay na meaning. Yung salitang ito that God is good in our life. Then you will experience the goodness of God in our life. And that's what I experience. Amen? Notice here, notice here in verse 5 of Psalms 145. Pansinin po natin dito sa talata na to Verse 5, ang sabi ron, I will meditate on the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your 
wondrous works. Hallelujah. Yung kanyang mga ginawa ay mapapapurihan po natin. Why? Because we experience it. Naranasan natin yung kanyang kabutihan. Verse 6, look at this, verse 6. Praise God. Verse 6. Men shall speak of that might of your one, uh, awesome acts. Hallelujah. And will declare your greatness. Praise God. Verse 7. Verse 7 says, They shall utter the memory of your great goodness and shall sign uh, and shall sing of your righteousness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Notice the statement that they shall utter the memory of your righteousness. Amen. Babanggitin natin ng ating mabibig yung kabutihan ng Diyos. In other words, The goodness of God is going to be on their lips all the time. Amen. Kaya nga po tayo nakapagbigkas ng mga kabutihan ng Diyos sapagkat naranasan natin. We experience it. Ito yung ating binibigkas ng ating mga labi sa ating buhay. Paggising sa umaga, lumalabas na sa ating bibig yung kabutihan ng Diyos. And throughout the day, they talking about the goodness of God. Amen. Kasi punong-puno tayo ng pagpapala. And that's why we utter it. Nag-overflow. It will overflow in our heart and it will come out with your mouth. Because you close your eyes, before you close your eyes at night, amen, uh, things about the uh, things about the goodness, goodness of God in your ating binabanggit, we are to talk about the goodness of God all the days of our lives. And it says, I shall sing of your righteousness. Hallelujah, inaawit pa natin yung righteousness na ito ng Panginoon. Amen. Punong-puno tayo ng kagalakan. And we sing that song, The Goodness of God in Our Life. Amen. Maari sabi natin, pero pastor, hindi ko nararamdaman yung aking sarili. Eh, sarili. Bakit kami nakakaranas ng hirap? Why still experiencing some hardship in our life? Well, how do I know that God want to bless me? Sabi natin. How can I know that God want to want His goodness to be poured out in my life? Parang ito ang tanong natin sa ating buhay. You know, sa ating buhay, bakit hindi natin nararanasan yung pagpapala ng Diyos sa atin? Well, listen to this verse 8. Look at this, verse 8. Psalms 145, verse 8. Look at this. It said, The Lord is glorious and full of compassion. Hallelujah. Pull up, uh, but the Lord is glorious and full of compassion, is slow to anger and great in mercy. Hallelujah. Verse 9. The Lord is good to all, and His tender mercy are over all His works. Hallelujah. Pansinin po natin, notice verse 9. He said, The Lord is good to all. Ang Diyos ay napagbuti, hindi lang sa isang bagay, sa isang tao, kundi napakabuti niya sa lahat. Hallelujah! And His tenders, and tender mercy are over all His works. Praise God! The Lord is good to all. Napakabuti ng Diyos, hindi lang po sa ilang tao, sa lahat na nagmamahal sa ating Panginoon. Sa lahat na kumilala sa ating Diyos. Amen? Now, when you say all, it's the same all over the world. No exemption. Amen? Wala pong exception doon. So, what is the problem? Anong problema? Why we don't experience the way other believers experience it? Ano ang naging problema? I think the problem is not everyone believes that. Amen? Amen? Not everyone is convinced with that. You know, well, I am, you know, I tell you that when I dis- uh, discovered 38, 38 years ago, Nung madiskubre ko po sa loob, sa 38 years ago, uh, 38 na, taong nakakaraan na, my life has never been same the same again. You know? And a lot of my relatives who is watching right now knows what's going on. He knows, he knows me. Nabago po yung aking buhay nang ako po ay makakilala sa Diyos. And I can, again, my, all my relatives that knows me, he can tell that. And I have to admit to you that I did not know that on my first 26 years of my life. Hindi ko po alam niya sa loob na 26 years of my life. I don't have uh, directions of my life way back then. 
you know, I just a drunkard person that loved to be drunk way back then, you know. With my cousin, you know, I had my cousin buddy back home in the Philippines. We always stay in 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 in, in the jeep. You know, we just talk about life, and we, we while we're doing that, we are drinking beer, and that's what my life is. You know, I am acting boy way back then, but I, you know, I was born 1957, and I came to the Lord 1983. Amen. Nakakilala po ako sa Panginoon na ako po ay arresto ng Panginoon 1983. Amen. So the first 26 years of my life, I don't know about these things. Wala po akong kaalaman. You know, I thought my life is just like that. You know, enjoy life, being a drunkard way back then. My both parents are very religious people. You know, we went to church. We went to church. They love the Lord. Don't get me wrong. They love the Lord. You know, I grew up and I don't have any knowledge about the goodness of God. Wala pa akong kaalaman patungkol sa kabutihan ng Diyos. Although that my parents told us about the fall of Adam and Eve, you know, they told me that story. This is about the Lord's Prayer. We know how to pray. You know, the recitation prayer. Uh, we memorize those prayer. You know, they told us about the good and evil. Amen. But I never heard about the goodness of God. About being righteous in the sight of God. Wala po akong kaalam alam dyan. About being renewed through Christ. I don't know those things. Being, have a personal relationship with God. I don't have any knowledge about those things. Yeah, although that, yeah, again, I can say that my parents are very religious people. I don't have any knowledge of those things at all. You know, what we know is the traditional belief. Amen? Yung kinagis ng paniniwala na nagdala sa akin ng isang katanungan. I asked the Lord, bakit ganito ang aking buhay? Why my life is like this? You know? And that's, I know in my heart that there is something that is missing. Amen? May mga bagay akong hinahanap na hindi ko makita. And I don't know about those things. At that time, I don't know what those things. I'm still missing something. But I tell you, when I got the Bible 1983, Amen. When I got in in the Bible, 1983, and I found out about the goodness of God, nakita ko yung kabutihan ng Dios. How that He wanted to bless us, Amen. How He wanted to favor us, Amen. How that He wanted to pour out His goodness upon us. I learned those times, 1983, when I started those to, to know all of this. In fact. That's what the story of the, the, the cross is all about. Amen? That is the story of the cross all about. Amen? It is the goodness of God. Yung kabutihan ng Diyos. And that is why cross is there. Amen? The empty cross. Because of the goodness of God. When Adam and Eve sinned, and men, nature changed, and all those, all of mankind began to have sinful nature, the story of the cross is God didn't want us to remain that way. Hindi kalooban ng Diyos na tayo po ay manatili sa ganong sitwasyon. Amen. God is good and so loving that the Bible says He was willing to give His only begotten Son. Amen. Yung pag-ibig ng Diyos na kanhandang ibigay ng Diyos yung kaisa-isang anak ng Diyos na ibigay sa atin. Bakit po? So that we could redeem us. So that He could have us back. Amen. Ginawa niya, binigay ng Diyos yung kanyang kaysa isang anak, buktong na anak, para po tayo magkaroon ng tunay na kaligtasan. He restored us back. Amen. He didn't want us to live our lives under the control of Satan. He didn't want us to live our lives in fear. Hindi po yun ang kalooban ng Diyos. And in bondage, tayo ay nakabandage, nakabalot sa uh, tanikala. And in poverty, Lack and want. Amen? Andiyan po yung tayo, yung po yung ating kinagis ng buhay. Na tayo ay lamuhay sa uh, kahirapan at sa mga buhay na mahirap. And that's what we are. That is what the devil did in our life. The Bible says that God is good. Hallelujah. And because He is good, He was willing to give His best. That is Jesus. Si Jesus po ang binigay sa He gave the best. The best one is Jesus. And he went to the cross to die in our place. Hallelujah. So that we would have to go. So
So we would not, we, hindi po tayo pumunta sa hell. So that he wouldn't have to live in abundance all the days of our lives. And praise God, once we made Jesus the Lord of our lives, then we are entitled to experience the goodness of God to the rest of our lives. Amen. Listen to this. God is not mad at you. Amen. God is not against you. God is not holding out. Amen. God wants you to experience His absolute best. He, when He sent Jesus, that was to signify that He is willing to give His absolute best. Not only in Calvary, but all the days of our lives. Amen. Ibinigay niya yung kanyang bugtong na anak para tayo ay makaranas ng kabutihan ng Diyos, kaginahuahan sa ating buhay. And that's why in the book of Psalms declared this, Psalms chapter 84 verse 11. And this is what the, what the Lord declares in Psalms. For the Lord is good, for the Lord God is a sun shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. Hallelujah. No good things will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Amen. The Lord is good and he is the sun and shield. Siya yun po yung ating sanggalang. Hallelujah. Hallelujah po yung sa ating tagapagtanggol. No good things will be withhold from those who walk uprightly. Doon sa mga taong batuwid. Hallelujah. Na tumanggap sa ating Panginoong Jesus. Praise God. Notice it says, no good things he will withhold from those who walk uprightly. Praise God. Doon sa mga taong matuwid. Sa Tagalog, I want to read this in Tagalog. Can you please go to look at this in Tagalog, please? Sa kabila sa Tagalog, hindi siya nagkait ng anumang mabuting bagay sa nagsisilakad ng matuwid. Praise God. Hindi siya nagkakait ng anumang mabuting bagay sa mga nagsisilakad ng matuwid. Praise God. Kung tayo po ay matuwid sa harap ng Diyos, yung tunay na pagpapala, mararanasan po natin. Why? Because He loves us. He loves us so much. That's why God is good. That's why we can declare, God is good in our lives. Praise God. Think about this. Think about that. God is saying, it's, it's not me that holding out. Amen? It's not me that keeping you from good life. He is not, he's not the one who, he is not, God is not uh, holding us to have a glorious life. Amen. And that's why John 10.10 10 says that the, the thief commit not but uh, to kill and to destroy. But Jesus came to have abundant life. Amen. Naparito siya para tayo magkaroon ng buhay na masagana. Praise God. And that is what he wants. Hallelujah. He give us life. Amen. God withhold no good things from them. That love him. Hallelujah. And that's why in the book of James chapter 1 verse 17 said, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Lahat ng mga babuting bagay, lahat ng mga bagay na, ma, na, ma, na matuwid, ito po ay galing sa Diyos. Amen. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and come down from the Father of light with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Hallelujah. You see, God is good. Napakabuti po ng Diyos. Everything about God is good. He wants you to experience His life and its best. Yung the best that God can, we can experience and that is God provided for us. There is some people are still convinced that God is the author of bad things. That if something bad happened, well, it's God He want me to teach something. Yan po yung mga katuwiran natin eh. Akala natin at pagka tayo nakaranas ng kahirapan, ito yung mga bagay na inalaw ng Diyos para tayo ay matuto. That is not true. Amen? Iakala natin that's the way God discipline us. No, that's not true. I don't believe that. That's the religious idea about God. Amen? That's not the Bible version about God. That, that not the Bible view of God. That's not the way it is. God said in the book of John, Hallelujah, book of John, verse 10, verse, uh, chapter 10, verse 10, the thief, the thief doesn't come except to steal. Hallelujah. And to kill and to destroy. I have come that you may have life and that life 
and that they may have it more abundantly. Amen. Naparito ang Diyos para maranasan natin yung tunay na kasaganaan na pre-provide ng Diyos para sa mga anak niya, sa mga taong nagtiwala sa ating Panginoon. And that's what God is all about. That is God what's all about is, you know, that is the story of the cross all about. Amen. That is Jesus all about. Amen. And that's why in the book of Acts chapter 10 verse 38, Acts chapter 10 verse 38, how good how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Hallelujah. Who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him. God is with him. Who went about doing good. Amen. And that is what uh, what book of Acts declare. Notice. It didn't say who went about doing good and bad or evil or ungood. No. That's not what he says. You know. He went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. You cannot find one place in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John where Jesus put cancer on somebody. No, put some uh, deafness or blindness or made people crippled. Wala po tayong mababasa sa mga pangako ng Diyos sa gospel ng Panginoon na nabanggit ng mga bagay nito. In fact, the Bible says, He went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Hallelujah. God is with him. So, where is the oppression come from? Saan po nagbuhat ito mga oppression na to? Saan po nagmula yung lahat ng kahirapan, sakit at karamdaman sa ating buhay? It came from the devil. Amen? It didn't come from God. God doesn't use the devil to teach us a lesson. Hindi po gagamitin ng Diyos ang, ang kaaway para tayo turuan ng mga bagay na kabubut sa atin. Hindi po. The Bible says that the Holy Ghost is our teacher. Amen. The Holy Ghost is our teacher. That's why in John chapter 14, verse 26 declares, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, Hallelujah, He will teach you all things. Amen. The Bible says, Our Helper, the Holy Spirit, He will teach us all things. Ang banal na Espiritu ang magtuturo sa atin ng mga magagandang bagay. Satan is spiritual at law. And he's the one who is trying to do things in your life that are evil, that are designed to destroy your life. Amen. And that, that are designed to steal from you and make your life horrible. Amen. But Jesus had come that we might have the abundant life, that we might enjoy life, and that life might become better than we ever dream of. Praise God. I would say, you need to make a decision. You need to make a division. I mean, you need to make a division in your life from bad or evil distractions, poverty or luck, sickness and disease. You need to make a line. Those signs is all those work of the enemy. That the work of Satan don't ever, ever cross over it. Amen. Just make a line that we have a boundary, division. And then, on the other side of it, kailangan sa other side nyo, we have the goodness of God, prosperity, health, joy, peace, and everlasting life. Amen. Don't let it mix. Amen. This is where you dwell. Stay on this side because God is the author of every good and perfect gift. Amen. He is the author of good things and perfect gift. Satan is the author of everything that is bad and evil. Amen. Ang lahat po ng mangyayari sa ating masama, all, all, those, all those things are the authors no other than Satan. Amen. Ang Diyos, ang kabutihan ay ang binigay po para sa atin. Wala pong masamang bagay na ibinigay ang Diyos sa ating kalagitnaan. Amen. And even God spoke to us in the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19, says like this, I call heaven and earth as witness today against you that I have set before you life and death, hallelujah, blessing and curses. 
cursing. Therefore, choose life. Hallelujah. Choose life that both you and your descendant may live. Amen. Binigyan tayo ng pagpili ng Diyos. Amen. God set a, a, a choice for us, for our life. You choose life or you choose death. Man, you choose life. Amen. Both you and the descendant, both, both you and your descendant may live. Hallelujah. Meaning to say, this life that you have, yung buhay na meron tayo ngayon, this good life, a life that is prosperity, a life that is peace, a life that good health, a life of abundantly. Amen. It's a result of a choice that you and I made. Amen. Yung buhay na masagana, yung pinili natin buhay na malusog, maging hawa, ito yung, da, ito yung bunga na ating pinili sa ating buhay. And I make a choice in 1983 when I received Jesus Christ in my life. Amen. Not the tra- traditional religion. Not the man's way to get close to God. Not all kinds of hundred different kinds of religions or doctrines. They created materials, images, that is not even mentioned in the Bible. You know? And because of being ignorance in the Word of God and no knowledge about the Bible and because of the traditional belief, they are victim of all kinds of different religious, religious leaders and when even uh, whatever they say, they believe it. You know, it's a man way to get close to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. God keep us alive, an everlasting life. Hallelujah. And that's why John chapter um, um, 23 verse 8 says, And he said to them, "You are from the, you are from beneath. I am from above, and you are you are of this world, and I'm not of this world." Hindi po tayo tagarito, amen. Kaya nga po yung pung ating pinaghanda ang buhay. Wag po tayo maghanda ng kayamanan dito sa lupa because we are not belong here. You know, uh, sabi ko nga uh, the Christian life nowadays ay paliit ng paliit. <laughs> you know, uh, this life, the world that, this life that we have here in this world is only a temporary, a temporary place. We are not belong in this place. One of these days, we're going back home to the final destination of our life, which is heaven. Amen? And I wish every one of us realized that. And that's why, sabi ng Panginoon, huwag tayong mag, mag, uh, maghanda ng mga bagay, ng mga kamundong bagay. This, this, all these things are temporary place. Temporal. One of these days, we're going back home to our final destination, no other than heaven. Well, I'm not saying that these things will happen overnight. No. That there is no ever bad things ever happen to, uh, to us again. Hindi po yun. No, but you have to make that, that decision. We need to make our decision in our life. You choose life. You have to choose Good. Amen. Piliin po natin yung mga bagay na mabubuti. You have to make a decision that you're not going to allow Satan to have a final say says in your life. Make a decision that you're going to study the Word of God. The Bible. Make a decision that you're going to ma- meditate the Word of God day and night in your heart. Amen. And then start to believe it. Amen. Impisan po natin manampalataya. Hindi po, pagkang binasa natin ang salita ng Diyos, papasok sa bilang tenga, lalabas sa kabila, hindi po ganoon. Start on act, acting upon it. Amen. And, gar- and I guarantee you, your life will never be the same again. Amen. And that's what I do. Yan po yung aking ginawa. I be- believe me, a lot of people asking me, marami pong tao na tanong sa akin, to those people who knows me before, 
you know, yung mga tao na nakakakilala sa akin noon, yung aking mga kamag-anak na nakakakilala sa akin ng araw, I say, you are not the same anymore. Sabi sa akin, you're not the same anymore. You are, you have a big, you, you, you are different now. Nagbago ka na. Your life is changed. Hindi ka nakatulad ng dati. O, sabi niya sa akin, ano, secret, what's your secret? Bakit ka nakaranas ng ganyang buhay? You know? Uh, you are not the same in a way. You know, usually, me and my cousin, we are the same. We just, you know, we love to drink. <laughs> but, you know, the life changes. And the, they ask me, what is your secret? Anong secret mo? Bakit na bagong buhay mo? Well, the secret is I made a choice. And that is, I choose life. Pinili ko po yung buhay. I choose life. I choose to surrender my life to the Lord Jesus Christ and made him as my Lord and my Savior. Amen. 1983, when I let, when I let Jesus to come in my heart uh, as my God and my Savior, and I learned how to walk in the goodness of God, and that is the secret. Amen. Ang secret po ay nung tinanggap ko ang aking Panginoon na si Jesus at ginawa ko siyang Diyos at salita ng pagligtas ng aking buhay. From that, from day, that, from that day on, my, change, my life changed. Nabago po yung aking buhay. Nabago yung aking pananaw sa aking buhay. And this is what the Bible says. And I want you to get a hold of this. Uh, that's why David says in Psalms chapter 23 verse 6, at po declaration ni David sa Psalms 23 verse, uh, verse 6, sabi ron, Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. Surely, goodness, kasun, so ang, 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 pag, ang kabutihan ng Diyos ay sinusundan tayo saan man tayo pumaroon. Whether you are in the Philippines or here in the United States, if you have the Lord in your heart, surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What is he saying? Ano po yung sinasabi dito? That you and I have the right to expect the goodness of God to show up in our life. To show up in our lives. Not occasionally. Not once in a while. But every day of your life. Amen. Every day of your life. I believe that it's of every one of us want to have that kind of life. Amen. Where, where the goodness of God is showing up every day. God will not withhold any good things from me because I love him. Hallelujah. And it's very powerful revelation that will sink in your heart and your life will never be the same again anymore. Praise God. Yan po yung pangako ng Diyos ating buhay. Kung gusto natin maranasan yung tunay na pag-ibig ng Diyos. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good in our life. What I learned is when I surrender my life to the Lord. Dung well, I, believe me, I tried to change my life way back then. You know, I used to smoke two pack of cigarettes every day. Believe me. <laughs> you know, mostly after I eat my lunch, I can, like, one stick is not enough, I need to light another one. And that's me. But then when, when God changed my life, unless God is the one changed my life and it, it happened. Nawala po lahat ng ating mga bagay na yun. And then, totally, God changed my life. And that's the way it is. I, 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 my prayer, ay maranasan din po natin, katulad ng naranasan ko, nung tayo po ay baguhin ng Panginoon. Why? Because God loves us. He loves us so much. And He don't want us to suffer. He don't want us to experience bad things. Because all of those bad things that are happening, the author is no other than Satan itself. And he said, John 10, 10, the thief cometh not but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Ang layunin ng kaaway, wala iba kundi tayo ay sirain, wasakin, patayin. But I have come that you have my life. Naparito ang ating Panginoon para po tayo magkaroon ng buhay, buhay na masagana, buhay na punong-puno ng pagpapala. And that is why Jesus came here on earth. Amen. 
para tayo tubusin, ibalik sa ating dating kalalagyan at ang pinambayad ng Panginoon, walang iba kung kundi kanyang buhay. Yung dugo na nabubo sa krus ng Kalbaryo, He suffered of separation from God, the Father. At tinanggap ni Jesus na siya ay mapahiwalay sa kanyang ama. Because on that moment, or when He was praying in Gethsemane, ang sabi niya, Lord, if this cup will pass over me, yung pungkap na ito ay punong-puno ng kasalanan. Dala-dala niya. Taglay-taglay niya ang lahat ng kasalanan niya sa labitan. And that's why when Jesus Christ hung on the cross, he, and he, he, he asked the Lord, Lord, why did you forsake me? Yes, God forsake him because that very moment, dala-dala ng ating Panginoon yung lahat ng kasalanan ng tao. And that's why he gave us life. Nagkaroon tayo ng buhay na masagana buhay na maayos because God died for us and He loved us so much. Amen? God is good in our life. Hallelujah. Bow, let's bow down for a moment. Hallelujah. Let's pray for... I would like to pray for each of every one of us this morning. Sa lahat mo na mga nanonood sa ating uh, online service. Hallelujah. Hayaan natin ang Panginoon ay kumilos sa ating kalagitnaan. Let the power of God flows in the midst of us this morning that the Lord is not going to be limited in time and distance wherever you are sa mga oras ito. Saan man kayo naroon sa mga oras na ito? If you learn how to surrender your life this morning, hallelujah, tanggapin natin ang Panginoon, tapasukin natin siya sa ating mga puso, maranasan natin ang yung tunay na kaginhawahan na nagubuhat sa ating Panginoon. And right this very moment, I would like to pray for you. Lord, hallelujah. Sa mga oras na ito, nakikita mo, Panginoon, ang buhay ng iyong mga anak. Lord, nakikita mo ang mga kanilang mga puso. You see their heart, Lord. You see how they surrender their life unto you, O oh, Father, Lord, this very moment. And you know them. Lord, because you are a powerful God, you know, you know their heart. You look at our heart, not on our outside appearance. And that's why, Lord, this very moment, I pray, as I lift up my hands towards the screen of this uh, computer, Lord, ipadali mo, Panginoon, ang iyong kapangyarihan. Lord, that will flow, O oh God, to the screen of their computers, Lord, and they will experience your goodness, your glory, your, 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 your healing power, Lord, yung iyong kapangyarihan, yung himala, Panginoon, ng kaginahawahan, Lord, will flow, O oh God to the screen of their computer, Lord. We ask you, O oh God, to bless your people this morning, Lord. Maranasan nila yung pagpapala na gubuhat sa iyo, Panginoon. Sa pangalan ni Jesus. Sa pangalan ni Jesus. Doon sa mga taong gustong tumanggaw sa iyo. Lord, as I, 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 I declare, O oh God, that Lord, whoever call upon your name, will be saved, Lord. Hallelujah. Unless a man be born again, they cannot see the kingdom of God. The Bible says, you must be born again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, sinabi mo sa iyo salita, Lord, ang sino man tumanggap sa iyo, Lord, if they confess with their mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you will be saved. Hallelujah. Kung tatanggapin natin, bubuksan natin ang mga puso, Papasukin natin si Kristo sa ating puso. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, you, you will be saved. Hallelujah, Lord. Sa mga tao na tumanggap sa iyo ngayong maga, pinapasok ka sa mga puso, Lord, i-bless mo po sila, Panginoon. Maranasan nila ang tunay na pagpapala na lububuat lamang sa iyo. Hallelujah. Lord, this is I declare, O God, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Sa lahat po ng uh, nanood ng ating uh, live program ngayong maga, ating uh, Sunday worship service this morning, I pray na patuloy po na kayo ay pagpalain ng Diyos. Maranasan po natin ang tunay na pag-ibig ng Diyos sa ating buhay. And we'll see you again next week. God bless you all.